I'm a mama trying to help my son. And this is what I get. A dead son. Hope Coleman says the death of her 31-year-old son, Terrence, should have never have happened. The 31-year-old was shot early Sunday morning by Boston police after they said he attacked officers and EMTs with a knife. But Coleman says her son was not armed and not acting violently. Terrence has a history of suffering from paranoia and schizophrenia. Coleman says she called 911 for her son because she was concerned for his health after standing outside in the cold for hours. When EMTs and officers arrived, police say he pulled a knife and struggled on the floor with EMTs, injuring two of them. That's when police burst in and shot him. Dealing with mental health and individuals who suffer from paranoia, schizophrenia, you don't know what they're up, but you know what they're up to, and so um, you know they can suddenly act out and. It's unfortunate what happened the other night. My own regret would be that there was not a mental health professional that she felt she could call in. Dr. Donna Mosh is CEO of the Massachusetts Association for Mental but Health. She says more emergency care needs to be provided for families dealing with mental health, and police need more crisis intervention training. We have to do a better job at linking the justice response and the uh, response from the ambulances to those mental health professionals so they can respond in tandem if necessary. Meanwhile, Coleman says the loss of her son is too hard to bear. And I can't depend on the system because they killed him. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.